Uh, it's the 42nd anniversary of the act of drinking beer with friends as the highest form of art, which I did in the Oakland Museum in 1970. And then I've been doing it um, since 73 weekly as a, as a kind of artist club. So this is basically a bar put in a museum as an artwork. Yeah. I grew up in uh, Cincinnati. It's a German beer town. And when I was in art school, I played the bongo drums and drank beer and moved to California to become a beatnik. And that was the beginning, the beginning of the idea. So I wanted to create a, a, a scene in, you know, in, in San Francisco. <laughs> this is a quote from Benjamin Franklin. He says, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs> People sign up to be the bartender, and whoever is the bartender can invite up to three guests. So there's always somebody, somebody new there. And then uh, after uh, somebody bartends three times, that makes them members like that. So anybody I don't want to become a member, I don't let them bartend the third time. <laughs> In LA, I had Ed Ruscha and Chris Burton bartend for me. You know, In England, I had um, you know um, Richard Long bartended for me. So. I've, I've had a lot of famous bartenders. No, I don't ever bartend. I don't ever bartend, yeah. I'm gonna tell jokes. A few years ago, an art critic came to my studio and I said, what is your opinion of my work? And he says, it's worthless. And I said, well, I know, but I'd like to hear it anyway. <laughs> so the basic elements are yellow light, jazz music, a bar, a bartender, a table and chairs, a shelf for the bottles. This is called uh, Golden Rectangle Beer and it's uh, in, inside of a beer glass. So it's like a metaphor for, for life. It fills up, it's like birth, you know? And then when the bubbles finally, it, when it gets old, it, the bubbles finally disappear and then, then it ends, you know? And, um, and it's the proportions of a golden rectangle, which is uh, based on the golden mean. So it's called sacred geometry too, you know? This is called an aid to communication. And it's also a, a, rec a golden rectangle, the proportions. and the. And I use Pacifico because I live on the Pacific Rim in California. And it's Mexican beer. And the yellow is a signature color with me. It's like California light, or it's the light color of enlightenment or the intellect. And in 2007, I had an exhibition of circle drawings. And I invented circleism 100 years after Picasso invented cubism. <laughs> what goes around comes around. So. I've been doing these circles for a few years. The first, first time was in the Guggenheim Museum in, a, in an exhibition. I did it on the wall in the Guggenheim. This is inspired by Leonardo's Diagram of Man because it's about a measurement of a man. It's my reach. And, and then it becomes a, a backdrop for when I do stand up, uh, you know, I tell art jokes. And um, a conceptual artist is free to work in any medium except painting. But someday I'm going to retire from art and take up painting. <laughs> In the 70s, until 1984, I, ran, I founded and ran the Museum of Conceptual Art, known as MOCA. It was the first MOCA. MOCA is the first alternative art space in the United States that I founded in 1970. Artists did site-specific things there. So it was a real, real museum. It had a collection of, uh, made up of residue from uh, actions and, and, in, and works that artists did in the space. The French philosopher, René Descartes, he goes into a bar and the bartender says, would you like a drink? And he says, I think not. And he disappeared. <laughs> Guy goes to the doctor. He says, I'm, I'm suicidal. What should I do? And the doctor says, pay in advance. <laughs> so he decided, I'm going to commit suicide by taking 100 aspirin. But after two, he felt better. <laughs> I was an altar boy. And, um, and we had benediction on Wednesdays. That's why I always choose Wednesday. And it's like the idea that it's the, the American sacramental wine. <laughs>